Um, as indicated in the reply to the question number 100 of 23rd of October 2012, local authorities have extensive powers under the Building Control Act, which they can use to enforce compliance with the building regulations. However, there is a time limit of five years after a building has been completed, during which the enforcement notice may be served by a local building control authority. The case of Priory Hall demonstrates the Dublin City Council's effective use of its powers to enforce compliance with fire regulations. Other local authorities have also used the courts to affect compliance with planning permissions, building regulations and fire regulations, all of which are critically relevant to the safety of building occupiers and the quality of the built environment. Results can also be achieved and often are through discussion and persuasion with the threat of legal action. Comprehensive statistical returns on enforcement activity under the Building Control Act and the Fire Safety Act are not yet avail available for the period in question, and I will submit it to the Deputy when I get it, and will be published in line with normal ar arrangements in due course. The Department continues to liaise with local authorities in relation to significant building control issues that have arisen in a number of multi-unit developments across the country, including those instances that have been raised by Deputy Daly, and I expect local authorities to continue to use all of the powers currently available to them to address the serious building defects. Okay, um, this is an incredibly serious issue which obviously entered the public domain through the fire safety concerns in Priory Hall, but it is most definitely not confined to Priory Hall, and I'm not sure from what the Minister's response, are you saying that all of the other developments cited in the question are outside the time limit period, and that therefore then the best the local authorities can hope for is to sort of nicely, nicely ask the developers to comply, because the reality is, particularly, for example, in the area of Foxford Court in Lucan, where a similar developer has built in Balbriggan, I know from a resident who has put in freedom of information requests that the local authority hasn't rigorously pursued the developer to ensure forest safety compliance and it has been very, very softly, softly, which isn't good enough when these lives are potentially at risk. So I'm wondering, can you confirm to the House what was the particular breach of regulations of the fire safety legislation in terms of Priory Hall? And can you give us an assurance that that breach is not in existence in the other developments cited or any other developments? Thank you. Minister. As you can see, that we, we've made substantial progress in Priory Hall in resolving these issues. But in relation, I'll give you more information uh, that I have here, on the, and I can give you more substantive information afterwards uh, if I don't get time to give an exhaustive reply. But in relation to Bell Main, I understand the remediation work on 225 units has now been completed, while seven units remain to be remediated. Uh, in relation to Belmain, in relation to Foxford Court. Um, the site was visited in April this year and evaluated by a fire safety officer from Dublin City Council who confirmed he did not require evacuation of any dwellings subject to early advancement of the remediation works. Uh, the developers prepared and issued a detailed remedial works tender based on fire safety strategies prepared by pro-fire consultants and agreed with the Dublin City fire safety officer. The tender issued to four companies who have worked successfully with South Dublin County Council in refurbishing work when the tenants remain in their homes during remedial works and a contractor has now been selected. In relation to Thornfield Square um, in South Dublin, in Clontalk, the position is an accident has uh, a fire in a communal corridor which may have been malicious, has been dealt with and is understood to be under investigation by the appropriate authorities. Thank you. No loss of life has occurred, but it has undoubtedly been a traumatic time for the people involved. A report on the matter is being sought. And I will uh, let the deputy know in due course when I get it. I can let you uh, back in, Minister. I can give you the full m more information. Here. I very much appreciate that full report, and I'm going to give you a list twice as long the next time to get that information. So I am grateful to receive that. But if I could revert back to the question I asked you at the end, what was the particular breach of the fire safety regulations in relation to Priory Hall? And can you give an us an assurance that that breach does not exist in any of the other developments? Thank you. Well, I have changed the building control regulations, as you know, the first time in many, many years that all of this has been revamped to make sure that the, the resident and that the people in the, in the apartment block or in the house are actually on a risk-based approach being able to ensure that we have good, sound, heavy-handed regulation this time rather than light touch. And the building control authorities will be inspecting on a regular basis during the course of the mandatory process that we're now putting in place uh, under this new building control regime. Uh, that the customer is protected in terms of their investment and the customer is protected in relation to redress. So I, I, Thank you. Oh yes, I, 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 I cannot be responsible for the sins of the past, Deputy, Thank you. and I'm sure you wouldn't expect me to. There's a lot of sins of the past that we're trying to, uh, legacy issues that we have to try and resolve with, and we have a lot more to do.